Click the first link in the description for the best Ask Reddit content. Today I fucked up by express shipping a flashlight. So, this actually happened yesterday. I ordered a flashlight, Mia Malkova signature, a couple days ago because sometimes you get in that mood and feel like you need something more than the usual. Something that's gonna make the toes curl. I had one before and threw it out because I started getting way too addicted to it. First time experience was pretty crazy because of how close it is to the real thing, but def not better by any means. If you're thinking of getting Getting one stop beating around the bush and just get one. If girls can have solo fun with toys, why can't guys? Anyways, being the horny fool that I am instead of getting the free ground shipping I go ahead and pay extra for express 2 day air shipping. Email confirmation. Check. Oh we'll send you a confirmation once your package has shipped so you can be on the lookout. Nope. Never got one so I'm like okay. Covid might delay it so I wasn't too worried. Yesterday comes I get a text from my mom. Please don't be mad but I opened your package by mistake I didn't look at the name I'm so so sorry. Instantly my heart drops at work like fuck. You know that feeling when you throat locks up and chest goes numb yay that. Just thinking about her thinking what a horny nasty motherfucker I am. Part of me thinks she wanted to be nosy and just didn't care. Oh I'm like it's cool I'm you to it trying to play it off. Told her I was waiting for a prank gift to give my buddy for his bachelor party, knowing damn well I was ready to go to town using that bad boy when it came in. Almost better than Christmas morning. At that point she doesn't sound convinced saying well I'm sorry, I promise it won't happen again. Go home after work, she's not home. Now I'm like fuck she probably told my dad. So I leave go out to dinner with my girlfriend of course I didn't tell her what happened because she's gonna spaz about why do I need one if I have her. When I came home later that night, walk in both parents sitting on the couch just the dead silence. I walk in say what's up, they both kinda ignored me and didn't want to look me in the face. So now the shame of them knowing and probably thinking that I'm a sick pervert that has a masturbation problem is getting to me. So I start rambling about some BS and they're making no type of effort to hold a convo. Nobody has really said anything to me and I really hope it's just water under the bridge. Best believe I cracked it open last night and slept like a baby after. Despite everything that happened that two day shipping was still the best idea of a ha ha. Too long didn't read, ordered a flashlight with express shipping never received a confirmation. Mom opened the package when I wasn't home. Probably thinks I'm a chronic masturbator and a pervert. My parents can't look me in the eyes and barely want to talk. Still it was worth all the stress because that flashlight takes it all away. Problem is if you claim it's a gift you didn't come home with a gift bag and card or wrapping paper to help sell the lie. I'll even take a future night to stay out all night at a friend's or get a cheap motel room for the night and may as well go wild with it. Part of the problem is you just accepted they didn't believe you remember when trapped you double down hard. You sound like you've gotten away with lying your whole life haha <laughs> I love this advice. Just to add a bit of suffering, your mom has likely already googled me Malkova because of this incident. About to go check her search history when I go home haha. Ha. Pro tip, keep your sex toys in a locked container with a sign on it reading, in case of my passing, just throw this away, it's sex stuff and it's nasty. That way, no one regrets the decision to never open it, if you happen to pass unexpectedly, and it spares them the knowledge of your kinks. Not going to lie, this makes me want to do the opposite. Open first on death. Who the hell doesn't look at the name on a package before opening it? who just assumes, when living with other people, a package is theirs. I don't buy that excuse, she was almost certainly being nosy. Everyone's mom of course. My mom would read the names, see it's me or my brothers, and still open the package. I really don't like the stigma around sex toys and people using it for masturbation. Like, just leave them be to their personal life. It's none of your business. 
maybe they're the ones with the problem, sneering face. Seriously I'm open about sexual stuff but I guess with parents it's just not always the first subject to joke about ha ha. Today I fucked up by trying to fight off my depression. In the past three weeks I've been diagnosed with social anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, and PTSD and have been getting intense therapy, six hours a day five days a week. It's been exhausting. It's been hard. And I've been feeling like I'm fighting a losing battle. I wanted to cheer myself up, and so this afternoon I decided I'd relax for a bit draw, and put on a Studio Ghibli film. I used to watch a couple of them when I was younger, but hadn't seen any in years. It was just the right kind of sweet I was looking for. But I wasn't sure what movie to pick, so I scrolled through Ghibli films and saw a few I didn't recognize. Eventually, I picked Grave of the Fireflies. I'd never heard of it, I didn't bother watching a trailer or googling it. I went in blind. I was an idiot. I should have shut it off after that first scene. I didn't. Needless to say, if you've seen the film you know it didn't cheer me up. On the bright side though, I got out some much needed crying. Too long didn't read, needed to cheer myself up and accidentally watched the saddest film I've seen in a long time that I definitely wasn't emotionally prepared for. Sometimes it is more easy to watch something that comes close to how you are feeling. Watching something light and happy might only make you feel bad because you just cannot feel that way right now. I have been listening to the podcast Hilarous World of Depression which helped me quite a bit to recognize and accept my feelings. Hang in there, wishing you the best. Try to watch a comfortable movie or TV show, I really like Modern Family is very light and almost never has sad episodes. Focus on your therapy, although I think 6 hours is a lot, that's how you will get better. Sending you good energy for your recovery. Here are a few more appropriate movies. These are the ones I've gifted when I knew someone was having a hard time. The Secret World of Ariete. Boy and the Beast. Howl's Moving Castle. Ponyo. Howl's Moving Castle is both a day I fucked up and hilarious. Still have a gif of the fire demon eating egg shells. Trying to cheer up by watching the of the fireflies is like trying to extinguish a bonfire by pouring gasoline on it. Maybe it'll burn out faster? You're definitely in for one hell of a time though yay. Dude I was so scared you chose the fireflies and bingo you did the best of the worst choice. Today I fucked up by chewing my lip. So this didn't happen today, it was when I was a kid, probably about 7 to 8 years old. Or some backstory. I have a bad habit of chewing on my lips when I'm nervous or bored. I had just gotten some dental work done where my gums had to be numbed and the numbing gel had gotten on my lips. After the dentist, I went to the store with my mom and, as little kids do, I got bored and started chewing on my bottom lip. A couple minutes later, my mom looks at me and her jaw drops and she starts freaking out and putting a tissue on my lip. I had chewed a large hole into my lip and didn't even realize that I had due to the numbing gel. It took over three weeks to heal completely. On the bright side, I don't really chew my lips anymore. Too long didn't read, went to the dentist, got numb lips from numbing gel and chewed a huge hole into my lip without realizing it. Reddit told me this post is trending on r slash today I fucked up, with 12 upvotes. Don't get me wrong, I like the post but WTF Reddit. As someone who chews on his lips even now, I can't help but laugh and feel sympathy for you. Guess you won't be giving anyone lip anytime soon. On the bright side, I don't really chew my lips anymore. That's a hilarious way of putting it off. Also, congrats on kicking the habit. Thank you. LOL. I read this without realizing I was chewing on my lip. I read this while being fully aware that I was chewing on my lip.